In my Ulpan class, I'm learning that there's a difference between Ayin and Aleph, but most of the time I just hear people pronouncing them the same. Mahaketa. Hey guys, I'm Ruben, and welcome to a new series we call Mahaketa, or What the Heck, where we address common issues related to Hebrew speaking and pronunciation. And today I'm here to talk about a very common controversial pair of Hebrew letters, Ayin and Aleph. Now, some teachers of Ulpanim insist on distinguishing words like Ani and Ani, Ani and Ani, and you sometimes hear people who use this guttural Ayin, Ayin sound when speaking. And it raises an important question, should I be practicing that? Across the country, in colloquial use and everyday use, these two letters are pronounced exactly the same no matter where they fall within the word. And I'm not saying that it's acceptable to pronounce Ayin and Aleph the same. I'm saying it would be strange if you didn't. Deciding whether to pronounce Ayin in a different way is like deciding whether to pronounce the K in the word no. Maybe it was pronounced differently historically, but it sounds ridiculous to pronounce it at all now. See, the Ayin sound is strongly associated with elderly Jews born in Yemen. But unless you're one of them, it sounds weird. Very weird. It'll probably come off like you're trying to imitate an old Yemenite accent. Maybe even like you're mocking them. We know that historically these two letters were pronounced differently, and Ulpanim really wants you to understand that difference, but it's just not practical now. When considering any new pronunciation, here are the main questions you need to ask yourself. Is this detail going to help me build confidence when speaking? Is it going to improve the way I communicate with others? In other words, is this going to enhance the quality of my Hebrew? If you're learning Hebrew as a foreign language today, there's no benefits of pronouncing Ayin and Aleph any differently in everyday conversation. On the contrary, you're likely to, to get the opposite effect. Please visit miftaim.com and send over a quick message or leave a comment here and let us know your opinion. And let's show the world how well you speak this language.